Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2016 Hudson Raiders soccer season, where the Raiders will be taking on the Eau Claire North Huskies. This is Knute Johnson reporting for the River Channel this year. We hope you enjoy the 2016 season. Hudson Raiders will be in the home whites today. You see Captain Jordan Helterbrand, number 13 there. The kickoff's taken by Eau Claire North taken by their midfield, intercepted by Katie Woodley, the center forward for Hudson. She tries to get a ball up to Jordan Helterbrand. It's stopped by defender uh, number 13 there for North. And that is Ariana Thiessen, goes out of bounds. There's Bob Burrows, uh, photographer for the Hudson Star Observer ESPN and uh, Gentleman's Quarterly Magazine there. You can see junior defenseman there, Taylor Brinkman, number 15, is going to take the throw in from the up, oh, it's going to be a corner kick. Went out the end line there. So that'll be Taylor Brinkman, number 15, on the first corner of the season for the Hudson Raiders. Lofts the ball up to the six yard line. Bounced away by the goalkeeper there. The goalkeeper is Alexa Shelton, a senior. She punts the ball away. It's intercepted by number 11, Mackenzie Drace there. Number 15 for the uh, Huskies is Markeisha Hazelton there in the midfield. Gets the ball temporarily. Jess Iverson, number seven, the junior midfielder for Hudson, takes over. Amanda Carey, back to goalkeeper Karen Chuckle in the orange there. Chuckle sends it back out to Amanda Carey, number three, the senior defender on the right there. Carey gets it upfield to outside mid Mackenzie Drace, who lost the ball into the center. Doesn't quite make it over to uh, Maddie Haynes over there, but Jess Iverson gets the ball again, brings it upfield, tries to get it to Katie Woodley, but doesn't get the ball there. Back to Iverson. Number five for the Huskies there is Mariah Kent. Touches the ball outside. Jordan Helterbrand sends it back to the midfield to Mackenzie Drace. Drace trying to get it back upfield there and does. Gets along the sideline. Goes out of bounds there. Girls got to remember the crown of the field to carry that ball out. And we just lost sight of that uh, for the Hudson Raiders. And it's a turnover. The Huskies will take the throw in there. Taking the throw in is number 18 for the Huskies. That's Riley Sarkowskis. Amanda Carey gets the ball, sends it to the midfield. Emma Richard, uh, mistouched there up into the air. Richard gets it down to Katie Woodley. Woodley's looking for a teammate there and gets it over to Heltebrand on the right forward. Heltebrand tangling with the defender there. And number 18 for the Huskies again. Riley Sarkoskis sends that ball out of bounds. It'll be a Raider throw in. Amanda Carey, number three, takes the throw up and over the head, trying to get it to Mackenzie Drace there. It's intercepted by the Huskies who send it up the flank, but it goes back to Carey. Carey handling the ball there, gets it to the midfield to Jess Iverson. Can't maintain control there. And number 15 again as Markeisha Hazelton gets the ball over to her other midfielder there. Huskies have the ball, dispossessed by Carey. Ball going back and forth there. That's number 16 for the Huskies, who is uh, Olivia Kang. Olivia is one of the captains for the Eau Claire North Huskies. Ball goes out to the right midfield for Eau Claire North. It's intercepted by Hudson, sending it back to the middle. North sends it back. A little trouble with possession for both teams here, not possessing the ball. Foul is called, and it's going to be a free kick for the Hudson Raiders. Again, Taylor Brinkman, the uh, tall, lanky junior defender for the Raiders as a center back, will take that kick. Sends it upfield. It's received there by Katie Woodley up on top. Woodley trying to get through a defender but can't. And North has the ball. Players get tangled up there. No call on the play. Play on. Number 10, Emma Richards tries to get the ball up to Maddie Haynes and does. Haynes sends the ball across the end line there. Let's see who touched that last. If it goes out to the corner, and it does not. It uh, must have been touched out by Maddie Haynes there, so that's going to end up being a goal kick there. Olivia King, the captain for the... Eau Claire North Huskies, one of the captains, is going to take that goal kick. Sends it out to the right flank for the Huskies there. Katie Woodley contests the ball, and Montana Hoder, an uh, outside midfielder on the left there, tries to gain possession. Uh, Emma Richards takes the ball over, gets it up into the box area there. Touched out of bounds by the Huskies. That's going to be a throw-in for the Hudson Raiders. Montana Hoder, number 18, a senior, one of three seniors for the Hudson Raiders, goes for the ball. And she's going to take that throw in and does. Throws it into the box. It's touched uh, by the Huskies and goes to their goalkeeper there. Uh, that's Alexa Shelton. Alexa's going to punt the ball here away for the Huskies, up and away. 
Ball is shouldered by Emma Richard, center midfielder, left center midfielder for the Raiders. Ball goes into the back zone there. Carey touches it back to goalkeeper Karin Chuckle, who sends a long driven ball back up the field. Uh, Karin does a nice job of playing very high and, and getting the ball up. Here's Jordan Heltebrand near the top of the box, trying to get to some open space or find a teammate and can't do either. Still has the ball there, fighting for it hard. That's well done by Jordan Heltebrand. Jess Iverson tries to get the ball, goes to Mackenzie Drace. Drace tries to get by the defender there, can't get quite get by. And North has the ball, Drace touches it again, gets it over to Iverson, or tries to get it to Iverson, back to Drace. A lack of control here by both teams. Amanda Carey takes a shot in, it drops around the six yard line. There's Maddie Haynes with the ball and she sends it into the goal for the first goal for the Hudson Raiders of the season at the 531 mark or so. It's Maddie Haynes, number 16, the junior midfielder and captain for the Hudson Raiders. At, uh, we'll see the clock here in just a second. There it is, the 531 mark of the first half. Uh, Maddie Haynes, uh, younger sister to Alexa, who is a prolific goal scorer for the Hudson Raiders. Haynes has her third goal on the season. She scored two goals against New Richmond. And there she is, number 16 on the far side there. She might only be five feet tall, but she's got three goals in two games so far. And uh, Coach Knutson, I know, looks for a prolific season out of Maddie Haynes. So here's Katie Woodley on the top of the box, tries to get it over to Haynes again in a dangerous position there. Uh, Jordan Helterbrand can't quite get through to the ball there. And, and North uh, sends it to the sideline there as they try to clear it out of the goal box area. There's defender freshman Annika Lewis on the left side there. Ani's been a great addition to the Hudson Raiders here. There's three freshmen that made the team this year. It's the first time in six years that the Hudson Raiders have had a freshman be rostered at the start of the season with the varsity team. But the three freshmen are Annika Lewis, who plays a defensive position, Savannah Jensen, who plays a forward spot, and uh, Marley Johnston, uh, all three very talented freshmen and worthy of making the team. But there's Ani Lewis, number 25. Brinkman with the ball, trying to get it out to the left flank there to Montana Hoder, and uh, Olivia Kang steps in, wins that ball, runs into Ani Lewis there. The ball goes off the Huskies. It's going to be a throw in for Annika Lewis and the Raiders. Good long throw by Ani. That's something the Raiders have needed for a long time. It's a little more length on their throw ins. I know Coach Knutson's been harping on it for years. He uh, hasn't been happy with the length of the throw ins by the Raiders. And there's North with a throw in themselves. Uh, can't be controlled. Montana Hoder tries to get the ball over to Jess Iverson. Jess dribble past one defender. Tries to dribble past another. Gets dispossessed. Olivia Kang knocks the ball out to the right flank. Goes to Hudson, though. And there's Emma Richard stepping in at the midfield there with those tealy green cleats there. She's getting some space. Gets past two or three players, but not the fourth or fifth. Ball's dispossessed, defender tries to get the ball out of bounds. Emma Richard knocks it out the touch line there, and it's gonna be a throw in for the Eau Claire North Huskies. You see the AR, the assistant referee on the sideline there, a little bit of a breezy day as the flag is blown in the wind there at her side, but she's pointing in the direction of Eau Claire North and they'll take the throw in. Number 18 again is a defender, Riley Sarkoskis. She takes the throw in there goes out of bounds, it's gonna be a turnover and that goes to the Raiders. Amanda Carey takes a throw in off the head of Riley Sarkoskis there for the Huskies. Jess Iverson controls the ball in the middle, sends a left footed shot into the box that Katie Woodley can't catch up to. Emma Richard tries to take a shot. It's off the hand of the uh, Eau Claire North Husky. That should be a corner kick for the Hudson Raiders. That actually could be uh, considered uh, handball and off the hands there. Ball's being taken by Brinkman, so it was called a corner correctly. And Brinkman will take her second corner kick of the day. Brinkman lofts another ball up. Uh, uh, far post on that one, but no Hudson Raider there. Oh, Brinkman comes in, tries to get a shot on goal. Doesn't quite get turned squarely to the goal, and the ball uh, flies out with a brisk wind off to the right side of the goal, well out of bounds and well off the frame. And that'll be a goal kick for the Eau Claire North Huskies. Captain Olivia Kang is ready to take that free kick. And goal kick and does. Heltebrand tries to get a touch. It's headed by the Huskies. 
Comes over to Drace on the right side there. Drace sends it in to Jess Iverson on the left. Jess goes more toward the middle, looking for somebody to pass to. Passes back to Taylor Brinkman, who switches fields over to Ani Lewis. Ani on the left side gets the ball upfield to Emma Richard. Emma Richard in some free space. Tries to get a ball up to Jordan Heltebrand, but can't get through three Eau Claire North Husky defenders. Huskies get the ball back to the center of the field and out, but there's a man to carry, one of the quickest players on the team. Excellent club player who's come back to uh, play her senior season with Hudson High School. I know Coach Knudsen was thrilled to have a man to carry, make the decision to come and play high school this last season during high school for her. Jordan Heltebrand on the top trying to control, can't quite maintain possession. And Emma Richards takes a shot. It's going to be off the frame and off out the end line. That'll be a goal kick for the Eau Claire North Huskies. Raiders are leading the game one to nothing here. This is Knute Johnson reporting for the River Channel this year. I'm awfully glad to be back with you. Riley Sarkoskis, number 18 for the Eau Claire North Huskies, will be taking the goal kick for the Huskies. She approaches the ball, sends the ball to one of her co-defenders, number five there. Ball gets sent out uh, to go out the end line or out there. Just went out the sideline or the touch line on the side, so that'll be a throw in for the Raiders. Poor execution on that play by the Huskies. Here's Marley Johnston, another one of those freshmen, number eight, that uh, Coach Knutson likes so much, the, the three young, talented freshmen. She gets the ball thrown in. Jordan Heltebrand crosses the ball in the top of the box. Dangerous position, but there's no Raider there to knock the ball into the goal like he, Coach Knutson would hope for. And the Huskies are trying to clear the ball out of the zone. There's number nine, Grace Potter, junior Grace Potter, trying to get the ball up to Maddie Haynes, who's already got one goal on the game here. Haynes knocks the ball out of bounds, and that's going to be a throw in for the Eau Claire North Huskies. Actually, must have called a foul there. That's a free kick on the ground, so Olivia Kang will take the free kick there. I'm not quite sure what that foul was. Olivia Kang tries to touch the ball up to her teammate, number 24, steps over, gets the ball into the midfield, and sends it to the center. Intercepted there by the really quick Amanda Carey on defense, who really comes well to the ball. Emma Richards with the ball again. Tries to get it over to Jess Iverson, sends the ball a little too far, and it goes to the Huskies there. Jess Iverson battling for the ball, but won by the Huskies and sent upfield. Number 15 there is Markeisha Hazelton again. There's Maddie Haynes battling for the ball, along with uh, the third of the three freshmen that you'll see today, uh, Savannah Jensen's number five. And Grace Potter with the ball on the left flank for the Raiders, sends it back to Emma Richard. Emma Richard tries to make a cut there and get the ball lofted in for a shot. There she lifts the ball up, but it's intercepted by number 13 for the Huskies. Uh, 13 is, let's see if I can find her on the roster here. That's uh, defenseman Arianna Thiessen. Ball gets knocked out of bounds there. Another goal kick for the Huskies. Arianna Thiessen to take the kick. Lofted ball out to the right flank for the Huskies there. And that's number 24. 24 is Laura Swenson, a midfielder, freshman midfielder for the Huskies. Number five steps aside two Raider defenders and travels past into the midfield area there. Sends the ball upfield trying to get it above to her forwards there. And she does. There's number 17 for the Huskies, which is Kelsey Kitzrow. Kitzrow uh, trying to get toward goal, but uh, Karin Chuckle was there, stopped the ball, and punts it away harmlessly. Well done by Karin Chuckle. There's Marley Johnston, number eight, the freshman midfielder, and Jordan Heltebrand trying to win that ball. Marley gets that ball. Good, tough play by Marley Johnston, but won by the Huskies. Good play by the Huskies, number 20 there. Jess Iverson wins the ball. Hudson is having a little trouble controlling that ball today in the midfield and up on top. Sends the ball up to the midfield there. Again, number 24 is Laura Swenson, the, the freshman midfielder. Annika Lewis there as the left back for the Raiders. Sends the ball back out to Grace Potter as the left midfielder. Potter tries to get, a, get the ball up the flank to Haynes. Can't do that bow. The, uh, Kang there sends the ball right into coach, assistant coach Kyle Flanagan's face. Wow, Kyle got a facial from Eau Claire North on that one. Maddie Haynes with the ball. Tries to hit her left foot and cross it, and it sails. Uh, one thing about a rolling ball, it's awfully hard to hit squarely, and, and Haynes kind of shanked that one out the end line there, and that's going to be a, a goal kick for the Huskies. Here's Arianna Thiessen again, takes that free kick, sends it out to the right side. 
Midfielder sends the ball back to defense. Olivia Kang, who sends it upfield. Uh, long touched by Annika Lewis there. Got to do a better job trapping that ball and dropping it right to the feet. North tries to send the ball up to the center. Amanda Carey with the ball. Good pullback by Amanda Carey, maintaining possession and getting away from uh, number 15, Markeisha Hazelton. Ani Lewis sends the ball up to Jess Iverson. Tries to back tap a little and recover, but she turns the ball over there to the Huskies. Huskies send the ball up the field, and Karen Chuckle will just play this ball with her feet. Again, one of the things Karen does very well is plays very high. Coach Knutson wants her to do that so she can touch the ball away before it becomes a breakaway that she has to defend a shot from. So Huskies trying to clear the ball there. Again, lack of possession here today by both teams. It's awfully hard. Neither team is collecting or connecting on three or four passes in a row. I know uh, uh, Coach Knutson puts a premium on possession, and right now the Hudson Raiders are... Uh, miss touching balls left and right there and uh, just turning them over far too often. Here's Amanda Carey. There's an example of uh, got away, but she got it back. Amanda Carey had it again, but an example of miss touching and it's just a turnover there. Uh, Emma Richard gets the ball to Jess Iverson. Back to Richard. There's a couple good passes. Richard, though, tries to go into the heart of three defenders there, and that's not going to be a good recipe for success, I can tell you that. So uh, North has the ball here, number 17 again with the ball, trying to get it out to the side is Kelsey Kitzrow, junior forward for the Huskies. Ball goes back toward the middle there to Markeisha Hazelton. Hazelton sends it back, comes back forward here, intercepted by Grace Potter. Grace Potter trying to connect with the Hudson Raider, but no one there, but Marley Johnson does run onto the ball, making a run up field here. Marley trying to get into some free space into the last defender there, but uh, again, one on three is not gonna be a good recipe for the Raiders. Jordan Helterbrand gets the ball into open space, tries to cut the ball back. The defender's sticking on her like glue. She sends the ball back to Amanda Carey. Carey gets the ball to the midfield to Jess Iverson. Iverson trying to switch fields there uh, and trying to get that ball up to Haynes. Uh, not a good trap. That ball's going to go out of bounds out the end line there, and that's going to be another goal kick for the Eau Claire North Huskies. Raiders just not doing a good job of uh, connecting on their passes, either passes into open space for the open players to run onto or going feet to feet so they can control the ball. Here's Thiessen with the free kick for the Huskies. Substitutions were taking place, and here's Thiessen approaches the ball, sends it out to the right side. Ball's intercepted by Grace Potter, and he obviously called a foul again. Uh, already a couple of phantom calls here. Absolutely uh, nothing egregious on that play. I'm not sure what he called. The Huskies send the ball up the right flank there, trying to get it to Markeisha Hazelton. Jess Iverson, the midfielder for the Raiders, cuts the ball back to maintain possession, sends it out to Ani Lewis, the left D. Ani trying to connect but doesn't, sends it instead to the Husky uh, midfielder there, trying to get it to Markeisha Hazelton. Taylor Brinkman sends it back to Kyron Chuckle, who plays it with her feet. A little bit of a missed touch there, didn't get the length on the ball by hitting it squarely that she wanted to. And the Huskies come right back toward the Raiders. Here come the Huskies right up the center. Amanda Carey again with that tremendous speed recovers and sends that ball harmlessly out of bounds to let the Hudson Raider defense recover. That's a good job by Amanda Carey there by alleviating the pressure by just clearing that ball out of bounds and letting the Raiders get reset on defense there. Here's number 18 again, and that's uh, Riley Sarkoski is going to make that throw in for the Huskies and does. The ball's headed out of bounds by Jess Iverson, the midfielder. It'll be another throw for the Huskies with Riley Sarkoski taking that throw again. You can hear the wind in the background, folks. Probably 20, 25 mile an hour winds at times. Uh, real brisk winds today bit chilly there's a left-footed ball nowhere near the goal just like the Raiders like to see that the ball goes harmlessly out the end line there and that'll be a goal kick for the Hudson Raiders which will be taken by junior center defender Taylor Brinkman Chuckle retrieves the ball gets it to Brinkman steps back in goal coach Knutson always wants a defender taking those free kicks instead of the goalkeeper wants a goalkeeper in the box in case of a rebound or a counterattack. And Brinkman's got one of the longer legs on the team, so she generally takes a lot of the kicks there. You can see the ball rolling three quarters of the way down the field. Uh, Brinkman does a nice job with her goal kicks and free kicks. 
North tries to send the ball back up. It's intercepted by Marley Johnston, number eight. Johnston trying to get the ball into space. It's a beautiful ball played to number 20 there. Freshman Cameron Massini can't quite catch up to that ball. It's a good ball by uh, uh, Johnston, Marley Johnston. That's freshman to freshman. There's a lot of confidence Coach Knutson has in those freshmen. And that's just a ball that uh, Cameron Massini is going to learn to uh, be able to anticipate and catch up to. Marley Johnston made a good play on that one. And uh, Massini's shown a lot of promise this year uh, in the coaches or in the captain's practices, the open gym time and stuff, and in the first couple games. So there's Massini approaching the ball there, going one on two against the Eau Claire North Huskies. Ball goes out of bounds on the Huskies. It'll be a Raider throw in. Knutson likes the defenders to take these throw to get as many offensive attackers in the game as possible to get numbers up on offense. So here's right defender Amanda Carey taking the throw. Throws it into the box area. It's a good long throw. There's number five, Savannah Jensen, trying to cross it there. Oh, it's taken, a, the kick is off the Huskies, but uh, uses Cameron Massini up there, number 20, as a, uh, to knock that ball out of bounds. It's going to be a free kick for the Huskies there. Cameron Massini there, number 20, is the daughter of Scott Massini, who was the Hudson Boys High School soccer coach for years. He's now the principal of Bruce Vento Elementary School in St. Paul. And uh, Scott Massini is probably one of Hudson's uh, better coaches. And uh, Coach Knutson can certainly learn a few things from him. Ball is knocked out of bounds by the Huskies there, and Grace Potter is grabbing the ball. Uh, I can hear Coach Knutson from here hollering to drop the ball and let the defender take that to get one more player into the offensive attack. So Ani Lewis, a defender, takes that throw, goes off the Eau Claire North Husky, and Ani's going to run to get that ball again. A uh, simple concept here, folks. Uh, Coach Knutson just wants all the offensive attackers he can get in the attack, and when a forward or a midfielder takes the throw, you're just going to be that person down in numbers compared to the uh, defense. So ball is rolling around the box there. Nothing dangerous yet. Just Iverson trying to get a shot off there. <laughs> you know what? That was a that was an easy ball sent into the goalkeeper and she made it look like a tough save there. Uh, goalkeeper Alexa Shelton, the senior goalkeeper for the Eau Claire North Huskies. There's Coach Knutson hollering at anything he sees move. Uh, Eau Claire North gets the ball. That's a good step over by the defender there, number 24, Laura Swenson, the freshman uh, for the Huskies. That ball's overrun. Marley Johnston picks it up for the Raiders, trying to get the free space. Good bit of dribbling by Marley Johnston, the freshman. Jess Iverson sends it out to Amanda Carey. Carey gets by, tries to get by one defender and recovers on that ball. She wins that, tapped back and forth. That's Carey winning the ball. Carey, that was a good use of uh, shielding. A little bit of an arm there, but didn't get called for that. Huskies win that ball now. Gets into the midfield there. Good cut back by the Husky. Marley Johnston attacks. Wins that ball. Good job by Marley Johnston. Now she's looking for a teammate to connect with. Goes back to Carey. Oh, Carey gets cut down from behind. That's clearly a foul. That's uh, uh, just whistled for the foul, but attacking from behind and then uh, intentionally slowing down the game by stepping in front of the ball like that. That's uh, that's the type of kid that's uh, probably going to get a yellow card at some point for that type of behavior. So Huskies win the ball back there. Number 12 for the Huskies. Uh, wins that ball in the midfield. That's defender Haley D'Souza. First time we've called her name today. Ball gets sent up. Uh, Ani Lewis on that left side there gets pushed by Markeisha Hazelton, a much bigger girl, obviously, as you can see. And, Ani Lewis, the young freshman, trying to stand up uh, against uh, Hazelton, the senior forward for the Huskies. Big, tough kid. Hudson takes the throw in there. Balls around the midfield there. Taylor Brinkman comes up. Uh, Tyler Huber tries to win that ball. There's <laughs> Hazelton knocking down Brinkman. Does finally get called for the foul there. And uh, Brinkman will take the free kick. Knock the socks right off her, it looked like there. Brinkman readjusting the socks, gets ready to take the free kick for the Raiders. Free kick goes to the left flank, intercepted by the Huskies. Tyler Huber, you can see Ty there with the number 22, the sophomore, only sophomore on the team this year, uh, wearing the right knee brace there. She's a basketball player and, and uh, uh, also a soccer player. There's a foul by Grace Potter there. You can see the referee actually called advantage, let the play go until North lost the ball and then made the play. That was a good call by the referee there, Grace 
uh, not playing the ball, shouldered her and knocked her down. Olivia Kang taking the free kick for the Huskies, sends a long ball up to the top right there. It's intercepted by Ani Lewis. The Huskies do recover there. Taylor Brinkman steps up and touches it out of bounds. There's Grace Potter, but uh, Hazelton wins the ball from Potter. Annika Lewis wins the ball back, trying to send it up the right flank. North sends it back in again. Here's Jess Iverson trying to control the ball, but can't. Number 17 for the Huskies wins that ball. Going right up the midfield there. This is a little dangerous. Man to carry does a nice job poke checking that ball away and maintaining possession. Number 20, Cameron Massini with a good win. Tries to get the ball to Marley Johnston. Trying to get that ball up the side. Ball goes out of bounds. That's going to be a Eau Claire North ball there. A good bit of play by Cameron Massini trying to combine with Marley Johnston there on the right side for the Hudson Raiders. Riley Sarkaskis for the Huskies after substitutions will take this throw. You can see in the foreground there, Tim Chuckle uh, being one of the ball kids today. Appreciate his help here. Here comes Riley Sarkaskis with the throw in. Ball goes upfield, Amanda Carey gets the first touch, tries to get it up the sideline. It's intercepted by the Huskies who send it forward there. And that should be an easy ball for Karin Chuckle who gathers it in safely. Communicates well, telling the, the team to go. Punts the ball uh, well past midfield. That's a great punt by Chuckle. Boy, she out punted her coverage there. The Raiders need to learn when, uh, with a wind like that today, when Chuckle's got that ball to punt, that, that ball's gonna go a long way. Cameron Massini battling for the ball up on top, goes out of bounds. That's gonna be the Hudson Raiders ball. Good pressure by Massini on that play to, to allow the win for the Hudson Raiders to get this throw in. So Amanda Carey going way up uh, on the touch line there on the right side to take this throw. Uh, Carey should throw that ball in the box to give her team a chance. Let's see what happens here. There goes the directional throw to Cameron Massini. Cam tries to turn there, but the defender Sarkaska sends the ball out of bounds. Going to be another Raider throw in. Carey takes a short throw here. Goes to Jess Iverson, back to Carey. Carey back to Iverson in the center. Iverson trying to adjust. Oh, she gets that left foot ability there. She should put that one on net as soon as she can. She's got a right and left foot that's as heavy a shot as uh, as I've seen out of anybody for the Hudson Raiders in a long time. She hesitated just a little bit there, and what she could have done easily is taken the ball another five or ten steps forward instead of to the left and just put that ball on the net. Uh, I'll take uh, Jess Iverson's shot over almost any other play on the field out there if I can get it. So. Huskies get the ball back. They knock it back to the defense there, trying to avoid some pressure there. Ball goes out of bounds. It's going to be a throw in for the Raiders. Grace Potter picks up the ball to do a quick start there and does. Goes to Jordan Heltebrand. Heltebrand in the box. Gets it back to Jess Iverson. Jess Iverson, number seven, trying to settle the ball. Can't do it. The Eau Claire North Huskies send that ball out of harm's way. Comes back to Taylor Brinkman, who sends it back to goalkeeper Karen Chuckle. She'll play this ball with her feet, sends it across the field to Amanda Carey. Well done by the Hudson Raiders there, switching fields. Give and go between uh, Jess Iverson and I thought Carey, but Marley Johnston was there. Carey has the ball now, putting it in position. She sends it back to uh, Jordan Heltebrand. Captain Heltebrand, the senior for the Raiders, connects back with Amanda Carey. Carey sends that ball up the channel and trying to get it to number eight, Marley Johnson. There's Cameron Messini. Let's see if Cameron can cross the ball, and she does. Oh, let's get the camera over there. Cameron Messini crossed that ball, but nobody was there for the Raiders in the center of the box to collect it and try to put it in. That was a good play by Messini. Ball goes out of bounds off the Hudson Raiders. It's going to be a throw in for the Huskies. It's number 12 for the Huskies, Haley D'Souza was going to take that throw, drops it, and Riley Sarkoskis is going to take it again. Sarkoskis takes the throw. Intercepted by Marley Johnson. Oh, touch, uh, that's a handball by Marley Johnson. Went off her feet up into the air, and she kind of ran into it. It wasn't necessarily uh, intentional, but uh, enough so that the referee wanted to stop and give the ball to the Huskies. Hazelton sends the ball to Sarkoskis. Sarkoskis with the ball in the middle sends it back. Comes forward again for the Huskies, trying to get the ball up on top. Amanda carries there with Marley Johnston. Johnston trying to get it to Messini, can't quite get it there. Huskies intercept, send the ball back to their defense, to the midfield. Midfielder sends it up the field there to their top forwards. And that ball should be out of bounds. Number 17 is Kelsey Kitzrow of the Huskies, sent that ball out of bounds with Taylor Brinkman applying great pressure on her. 
So Amanda Carey's going to take this throw in for the Hudson Raiders. There will be substitutions going on, so we'll pause just a second here. Raiders are 1-0 on the year, having defeated New Richmond 3-1 last week. So they're 1-0-0 on the year. One win, no losses, no ties. And right now it's a score of 1-0 with the Hudson Raiders. Uh, Eau Claire sends the ball from the midfield up to their forwards. Carey intercepts the ball again. Sends a long punted, high, long punted ball up. Iverson gets the ball over to Huber at the left center mid. Left defender in now is uh, Emma Olson. Emma Olson uh, has been out all year for the Raiders uh, with a hamstring injury. And this is her first action back in the game there. You can see Coach Knutson on the side talking to freshman defender Annika Lewis there. And he substituted in Emma Olson for Ani. So it's uh, Emma Olson's first action here. And again, Coach Knutson's really glad to have Emma Olson back in the fold. Olivia Kang, captain for the Huskies, takes the throw in, goes up the line. A lot of tendencies are very similar to what the Hudson Raiders do with having the defenders take those throws and a lot of the throws going up the line. Emma Olson coming up. Oh, Taylor Brinkman puts a shoulder into the kid and rolls her a little bit. Um, you can make that play as long as you're playing the ball and in the referee's opinion, he was not playing the ball. This is gonna be a dangerous play here. This is Olivia Kang who's gonna take the free kick for the Eau Claire North Huskies. And 40 to 60% of goals in soccer are scored on set plays, so this is a dangerous situation. Olivia Kang takes the free kick. Ball goes into the center. Oh, the ball, it's hard to see what happened there. It looked, uh, it looked like Chuckle had that ball in her hands and uh, it looked like number 14 for the Huskies, which is a, actually a defender, Michaela Kohler, uh, ran into the goalkeeper for the Hudson Raiders. They're calling that a goal. And this is at the 30 minute and 17 second mark to even the game one to one. Uh, boy, sure like to see that on replay here because uh, it looked like goaltender interference. And if Karen Chuckle, the goalkeeper for the Raiders had that ball in her hands, uh, that player cannot run into the goalkeeper with her hands on the ball. I would be very interested to hear what that referee or the sideline referee's call is on that, but nonetheless, it, it doesn't matter. The game is tied. It's one-to-one -one with the Eau Claire North Huskies uh, scoring on that contested play that knocked uh, goalkeeper Karen Chuckle down for the Hudson Raiders. Uh, I, I know for a fact Go Coach is going to be screaming that that was goaltender interference, and he's going to want to be having a chat with both the center ref and the AR on the side, the assistant referee on the side there, uh, come halftime. I, I, I'd bet you a million dollars in cash that he's going to be talking to both of them at half on, on that particular play to find out what happened. Again, here the Hudson Raiders are in a battle now. Marley Johnston, the right midfielder for the Raiders, gets the ball back to Amanda Carey, the back D, right D for the Raiders. Carey and Johnston com combining very nicely on the side there. Here's Carey with a bit of open space. Cameron Messini in front of her. Carey gets a shot off, but it just goes to the right of the goal. That's a, that's a well done play by Amanda Carey. I know Coach Knutson likes the players to take the ball up the channels or the sides of the field and uh, cross that ball in. Uh, better served on that play would be to get the hips turned a little more to Amanda Carey's left so that ball drops about the six yard line. Um, she kind of ran herself out of the angle there and the ball just went harmlessly to the side of the net, uh, rendering it a goal kick for the Huskies. Here Sarkaskis takes the goal kick for the Huskies. Touched by Marley Johnson on the right there. Sends a left foot back trying to get it back to Amanda Carey. Let's see where the ball went there. Ball went out of bounds, so it's going to be a Husky throw in here. Riley Sarkaskis for the North Husky is going to take that throw and does. Ball is headed by Marley Johnson out of bounds. Going to be another throw for the Huskies as they matriculate up the field, as Coach Hank Stram used to say. Old Kansas City Chiefs football coach matriculating up the field. Here's Sarkoskis with the throw, goes to the left side there, tries to get it to a teammate. Cameron Messini intercepts the ball, carries the ball up the line there, trying to get it across. Once, twice, can't quite get it across. Going one on three there, it's gonna be a tough way to win uh, when you're going one on three, but it's a nice bit of defense by the North Huskies. A little dangerous play there by number 17 for uh, for the Huskies, who's kicking a little high kick there. Kelsey Kitzrow into Amanda Carey's facial area there. Amanda Carey picks up the ball, gonna take the throw here for the Raiders. Sends the ball up the line. 
There's Cameron Messini breaking away, getting a little bit of space. Tries to cut past that last defender. See if she can get her footwork here. Gets a, gets a yard of space, sends the ball back to the midfielder. Actually, defender, Amanda Carey there. Carey trying to get her bearings on the ball. Peels the ball back again, sends the ball back to uh, Jess Iverson, center midfielder, who gets it over to uh, Taylor Brinkman. Brinkman carrying the ball upfield, gets a left-footed shot off, and the ball goes just a little high and to the left of the post. That's well done. Well done by Jess Iverson trying to get the ball to Brinkman, who actually takes a shot. Uh, Coach Knutson again wants his Hudson defenders, uh, who are all quite capable with Emma Olson, Taylor Brinkman, and Amanda Carey have uh, some of the longer legs that the defenders have seen in Hudson uh, for the last couple of years. Uh, Hudson's always had great defenders, but the length of the game on the three defenders this year is as good as uh, Coach Knutson's seen in a long time, as he told me. Jess Iverson wins the ball, gets it, tries to get it up to Haynes, who's battling for the ball. Haynes and Olivia Kang and the... <laughs> As you can see, Haynes is not happy. The referee is going to give that exchange to Olivia Kang, saying that the little five-foot Haynes was a little too physical against the Eau Claire North Huskies. Uh, as the announcer here, I would disagree with that call again vehemently. I'm not sure what he saw. It was looked like good play on both parties there, but he called a foul against Hudson, gave it to the Huskies. There's Emma Richard with the green shoes trying to get the ball up the field. Can't quite control it and it goes to Olivia Kang, but uh, Hudson was fouled. And to be honest with you, that uh, appears to be a phantom call because I didn't see a foul there. But Hudson's going to take a free kick here. It's going to be Taylor Brinkman after substitutions uh, come on. And uh, you can see the two side by side. So this would be called an indirect kick. And to take the indirect out of the play, the Hudson player will roll the ball forward converting the kick into a direct free kick in which can be scored from. So a uh, smart play by the Hudson Raiders to go 2v1 on that ball and take the indirect kick out of the equation and make it a direct kick. Number 13 there for the Huskies sends the ball out of bounds and that will be another throw in for the Hudson Raiders. Midfielder Ty Huber, number 22, drops the ball there and it's going to be Emma Olson taking this throw in for the Raiders. This is Emma Olsen's first throw into the season, tries to get into the box area and does to Maddie Haynes. Ball comes back on the goal area there, stopped by the goalkeeper and sent out by the Huskies harmlessly there. That was a good uh, scoring opportunity for the Hudson Raiders. Olsen gets knocked down there, Heltebrand in the box trying to win the ball. Emma Richard trying to control but can't and the ball goes over to the Huskies there. Taylor Brinkman ends up sending the ball back to Karen Chuckle who sends it out to Amanda Carey there on the right. Carey cuts past one uh, opponent, trying to get it upfield, but can't get it past the second. Looks like a dangerous situation here for the Raiders. Carey wins the ball again. Good physical work by Amanda Carey to come back and win that ball. Ball goes past Marley Johnston there on the left flank for the Eau Claire North Huskies, and the ball gets sent back. Taylor Brinkman taking on number 17 for the Huskies. Brinkman wins that ball, as she usually does, and trying to get that ball upfield. Jordan Heltebrand trying to win the ball up on top. Ball goes back to number 14 for the Huskies there. That is Michaela Kohler. Huskies still have the ball in the midfield. Send it up to the top right there. Emma Olson heads the ball up, headed by uh, North. Brinkman tries to win the ball, sends it upfield, but it goes right to the Huskies who send it back to the center of the field, crossing the center and going off to the left flank there. Amanda Carey, who has all kinds of uh, Speed and energy to win that ball does, but then sends the ball out of bounds when Marley Johnston can't stop that ball by the touchline there. Number 18, Sarkaskis, uh, taking most of the throws today for the Eau Claire North Huskies, is going to take another throw in after substitutions. One to one here in the game today. Here we are on uh, Tuesday, April 12th, first Big Rivers Conference game of the year for the Hudson Raiders. Brinkman with the ball in the back third there over to Carey. Carey tries to get the ball up and out. Hudson can't win the ball, goes back to the Huskies there, coming back into their attacking third. They have the ball on the left flank, trying to send it to the middle. Looked like that could have been a handball on Jess Iverson, but she sends it up to Messina, who plays it to Marley Johnston. Johnston trying to get into free space there, going up the right flank and does. Defender giving way, tries to get it to Camasini. Camasini gets it out front, can't quite control the ball. Trying to win that ball back. That should be, oh, that should have been a Hudson Raider uh, throw in. Not sure why uh, that AR gave a, clear, a ball clearly knocked out by the Eau Claire North Huskies. 
to the Huskies. Should have been Hudson Raider throwing on that ball. Nice, must be the first game for the ARs too. It was unusual that the assistant referee, the AR on the other side, didn't see the goaltender interference on that first goal by the Eau Claire North Huskies. But uh, again, you got to play the card, the hand that you're dealt, and Hudson has to live with that. There's Brinkman coming in. Brinkman gets a shot off toward the goal there. It's gathered by goalkeeper Alexa Shelton for the uh, Eau Claire North Huskies. She'll punt the ball here. And does, off to the right flank there. Ball's gonna bounce. Touched by Huber on the sideline. Goes out of bounds off the Huskies. That's gonna be uh, Raider ball. Emma Olson takes the throw in. Good length on that throw. Uh, Huskies knock that ball out of bounds. Gonna go to Hudson again. Emma Olson, number 14 there, gathers the ball in after it was picked up by Lauren Milbrandt there. Maddie Haynes sends the ball into the box area to Jordan Helterbrand, but the ball isn't won, and the North Huskies clear that out. Get that ball to the right flank. Oh, and uh, 22 for the Huskies. Uh, that's Caitlin Clock knocks down Emma Olson, and uh, the crowd and the parents, I'm sure, gasp a little as Emma Olson goes down after uh, being out for so long with that hamstring situation. Uh, Emma's taking a free kick here for the Hudson Raiders. This will be Emma Olson's first free kick of the year. Good lofted ball by Emma Olson into the box area. Not controlled, but Hudson does gather it back. Emma Richard sends the ball in. Gets it to Helterbrand. Helterbrand with a back tap there to Richard, but the ball goes harmlessly to the left side of the goal. Looked like a pretty good uh, opportunity for attack for the Hudson Raiders there, but not quite on the frame. It's going to be another goal kick for the Huskies. Thiessen for the Huskies going to take this free kick. Sends it off to the right side there. Olivia Kang kind of mistouches that. And... Uh, Sends the ball out of bounds. That's going to be a throw in for the, oh, I guess it was still inbounds. Boy, but they're taking it pretty casually back there. And I'm not quite sure why Hudson wasn't attacking on those uh, lazy balls sent in the attacking third of Hudson. And we had no pressure on him whatsoever. Heltebrand working hard to try and win the ball there. Too, too much time spent in the air though. Got to keep the feet on the ground and maintain composure. Brinkman sends the ball over to Mackenzie Drace, who's now playing a left midfield position. Drace sends the ball into the middle, trying to get it to Katie Woodley. Woodley sends it back to no one. Brinkman recovers the ball, trying to get it out to the right side. Again, we are not connecting white to white here, folks. The uh, Hudson Raiders are just uh, kicking the ball because it's coming. We're not connecting there. Brinkman goes to Carey. Let's see if Carey can connect. Carey goes back to Chuckle. That's a good play to let everybody recover a little bit. Chuckle, one of the better players uh, with her feet out on the out on the pitch as a goalkeeper. Oh, Hudson, boy, that was an easy giveaway. Here comes the Huskies down the center of the field. Ani Lewis uh, trying to clear the ball, sends one that's going to just go out of bounds. That's, uh, that's really undisciplined play by the back uh, of the Hudson Raider defense there with just knocking balls around and, instead of uh, finding teammates like they should be. Sarkaskis takes the throw. No one near the Eau Claire North Husky there. Cameron Massini on the far left and Katie Woodley supposed to be the center uh, forward there. She's Katie Woodley's playing a midfield position. She's in the right place. Woodley sends that ball upfield to Massini. Massini trying to get the ball forward. Does, gets it out to the right flank there. Here's Marley Johnston with an opportunity. And the defender for the Eau Claire North Huskies drives that ball out the end line. That's going to be another corner kick for the Hudson Raiders. Good pressure by Marley Johnston on that play. Just couldn't quite get there before the defender and the keeper. Here comes Taylor Brinkman to take that corner kick for the Hudson Raiders. This corner kick set is called goal line for the Hudson Raiders, where instead of an arc on the backside, they put uh, two players um, on the goal line near the corner kicker. Brinkman trying to settle the ball. Sends the ball out for a, for a kick here. Amanda Carey coming in, trying to send a ball in. It gets it into the six-yard six line area there, but there's no Hudson Raiders looking for the ball there. Emma Olson tries to send the ball up uh, to Drace. It's intercepted by the Huskies, and 
Sent out to the right flank there. Hits their own teammate in the back with the ball there. Emma Richard trying to win that ball for the Raiders, but it goes off of Richard, and it's going to be a throw in for the Eau Claire North Huskies. Olivia Kang there, the right defender, captain for the Huskies, going to take this throw. Ball's run on to by Katie Woodley trying to win that ball. Does a nice job. Turns it over, though, to the Huskies. Goes back to Hudson intercepts there. Taylor Brinkman with another run. Uh, Coach Knutson loves the defenders who make runs for Hudson. Here's a ball sent up to Haynes on the left flank. See if Haynes can cross that ball across. She does. The ball's intercepted by the Huskies there. That ball, if we could lift that up, uh, set a two, three feet off the ground. If we could get that 10 or 12 feet off the ground and put it on the top of the box, the Raiders would have an opportunity to uh, run onto that and be able to score. Uh, Defender Emma Olson's going to take this throw in and does. Goes to Haynes. Haynes trying to win the ball. Gets knocked over there. That should be a free kick, and it is. Referee on top of that one. Raiders are going to get a free kick right on the left edge of the goal box there. And number 14, junior defender Emma Olson's going to take this free kick. She chips a nice ball into the box area there. And that's a handball by Eau Claire North. A clear handball by uh, Eau Claire North is going to be a penalty kick. This certainly should be a penalty kick for the Hudson Raiders as that ball was chipped in by Emma Olson. The shot was taken, I believe, by Jordan Heltebrand, and the Eau Claire North defender raised her hand to stop that. It would have been a, a, a certain goal. Uh, the way the rules read, folks, here, the referee doesn't have this quite right. He's given a penalty kick to the Hudson Raiders at the 43-47 mark. But uh, that player for the Eau Claire North Huskies should be given a red card and a two-game suspension for stopping what was clearly a certain goal with her handball. Jordan Heltebrand for the Hudson Raiders is going to take this uh, penalty kick for the Raiders. She readies and waits for the referee to blow the whistle. This is going to be a live ball after the kick if it's touched by the Huskies. Heltebrand hits the post with it. Sends it, sends it to the uh, goal. It looks like a goal, but folks, that's not going to be a goal because uh, it came off the post and it was touched by Jordan Helterbrand, and it has to be uh, touched by a defender before it's a live ball. So had the goalkeeper touched that ball and it come out on a rebound, it would have been a live ball, and it, it maybe would have been a score then. But because the penalty kick was touched again by the kicker next, that's not going to count. So, Raiders thought they had a 2-1 lead there. Heltebrand hits the post with the penalty kick. And uh, Cameron Messini out on the right corner there wins the ball. It's going to go off the defender, Sarkoskis, who sends the ball upfield there. Amanda Carey comes in to the ball there with just a few minutes left to go of the half. Carey sends the ball in, knocked out by the back defenders there for the Huskies. Marley Johnson and Cameron Messini working hard to win the ball there. North sends that ball out of bounds. A little shove by Cameron Messini to knock that player out of bounds. That should be a Hudson Raider throw-in. What on earth are they doing giving a throw-in to the Eau Claire North Huskies when the Husky, unless he's call, unless they're calling a free kick there. Man, these referees are having a tough game, folks. That ball was clearly kicked out by the Eau Claire North Huskies, and they gave the throw-in to the Huskies. First game for the ARs, I can tell you that. Ball is sent up into the midfield there by the Huskies. Now it's out to the right flank there. Ball is sent up. Number seven tries to get it. Taylor Brinkman. That's the half, folks. Boy, I thought they called another penalty there, but here we are at the 45-minute mark. It's a one-to-one -one game. Hudson Raiders versus the Eau Claire North Huskies at 45 minutes on April 12, 2016. First Big Rivers Conference game of the year between the Hudson Raiders and the Eau Claire North Huskies. And we're at one to one. The Hudson Raiders outshot the Huskies in the first half, 10 shots to two, but that doesn't matter. Uh, on two shots, the Huskies have one goal and on 10 shots, the Raiders have one goal. So 50% goals to shots for the Huskies, 10% goals to shots for the Raiders. The center ref and the two ARs are uh, coming back to the center here to start the second half. Another 45 minutes to decide this contest, and here we are one to one. And we'll see what the outcome is going to be in the second half for the Hudson Raider Eau Claire North Husky game.
referees must be talking about right now is why wasn't that goaltender interference when the Eau Claire North player ran into Carr and Jekyll, the Hudson goalkeeper? It's a mystery to me, folks. All right, Katie Woodley, center forward for the Hudson Raiders, is ready to take the kickoff along with, uh, well, they just switched positions there. You can see Maddie Haynes shivering with the cold there, number 16, who has a, the only goal for the Hudson Raiders right now in the 1-1 tie. Jordan Heltebrand, senior captain, is in the center with Katie Woodley going to take the kickoff. To be a legal kickoff, the ball has to roll forward. And Hain, or Heltebrand sends it forward. Woodley sends it back to Emma Richard. Richard tries to carry the ball up the field. Markeisha Hazelton uh, on, in pursuit. Trying to send the ball up to Woodley, but uh, North recovers and wins this ball. There's Riley Sarkaskis with the ball. Give and go there, We're well done by the Eau Claire North Huskies trying to get the ball up the field. Taylor Brinkman gets the ball, tries to switch fields there and does with Annika Lewis, number 25, the freshman left defender for the Huskies. There's Markeisha Hazelton and Lewis sends it out to Hoder. Hoder has the ball up the left side there. And ball, did the ball go out of bounds? Ball went out of bounds, they're staying off the Huskies. The Raiders are gonna take the throw. That ball didn't look like it went all the way out of bounds, but again, as we've established, it's the first game for these referees and they're looking like it. So Markeisha Hazelton wins the ball there, sends the ball out to the right side. Ani Lewis for the Raiders is gonna take this throw. Good length on that throw, ball goes up the line, goes to the Huskies defenders who send it up to the midfield there. Ani gets a touch, but uh, goes back. Taylor Brinkman with the ball. She's gonna send that ball back to Karen Chuckle. Karen will send that ball either to the right side there or up the field. And chips the ball to the right flank there. Jess Iverson sends it back to Amanda Carey. It's gonna go out of bounds though. Not able to be controlled by the Hudson Raiders. They need to do a better job of that. There's no pressure at all on them there. And they knock the ball out of bounds. Coach Knudsen's not gonna be happy about that, you know. And uh, Coach Knudsen's not nearly as bright as he looks, but he can sure get angry. Raiders trying to win the ball there. Amanda Carey loses the ball in the attacking third. Whoa, and she uh, gives a shove onto the Husky there and does get called for the foul there. So number 17 for the uh, Huskies there, Kelsey Kitzrow uh, takes the foul there and Eau Claire North is gonna take a free kick in a dangerous position for the Hudson Raiders. Here's Riley Sarkaskis is gonna take this free kick, sends a lofted ball up to the top of the box. Uh, good uh, chest trap by Jess Iverson to get that ball out of bounds. It was off the Huskies, it's gonna be a goal kick for the Hudson Raiders. That's uh, well defended by Jess Iverson on that ball. You gotta be brave and attack the ball when it's in the box, especially when you're defending your own goal there like that. And Jess Iverson did a great job to get that ball out of there. Montana Hoder trying to win the ball, goes back into the corner and Taylor Brinkman is there. Pulls it back, trying to win the ball, get it over to her right, taps it back on her left. And with the left foot, tries to send the ball up the field to Montana Hoder and does. And what are we calling here, folks? They're calling the ball. <laughs> They're calling the ball out of bounds again. You can clearly see the ball. I don't know if this AR understands that the ball, if it's 99% out, it's still 100% in. The ball has to be completely out of bounds to be a turnover there. And there's been a couple calls where you can see on tape if we rewound that, uh, yeah, that uh, that was not an accurate call there. Taylor Brinkman with the free kick for the Hudson Raiders here. In a one-to-one -one game, this is a game the Raiders uh, should clearly win against Eau Claire North uh, by two or three goals. And, and quite frankly, they're just not combining well enough on offense and maintaining possession of the ball here. Uh, here's Woodley in the center of the midfield for the Raiders, trying to get the ball to the outside there. Uh, trying to be controlled by Carey, finally is. Carey has the ball over to Iverson. Iverson dribbles past, breaks the ankles of that Eau Claire North uh, player, number five there. That's uh, midfielder Mariah Kent. Gets the ball upfield, and we can't maintain possession in the back there, and the ball gets turned over to the North Huskies. Fighting for the ball is Mackenzie Drace over there with the Huskies, ball goes back. Here comes Markeisha Hazelton there. 
wins the ball, gets it to a uh, teammate for the Huskies who sends it upfield to the right flank for the Huskies, harmlessly out of bounds, and that's gonna be a throw in for the Hudson Raiders. There, the AR got one right. And the Raiders send it up. Emma Richard can't maintain possession of the ball. The ball goes out of bounds. Raiders take the throw. Ani Lewis to Montana Hoder. Hoder gets it back to Lewis, who gets it back to Hoder. Hoder tries to send it to uh, nobody. And we got to do a better job there of trying to go uh, player to player, white to white on this. And here's Zani Lewis, another throw to Hoder. Can't maintain possession on that ball. Intercepted by Eau Claire North. That's Olivia Kang again, the captain, who tries to cross the field over to Riley Sarkoskis. Sarkoskis tries to maintain control. Helterbrand gets a shot off with the right foot. Caught by uh, the goalkeeper for the Huskies there, Alexa Shelton, the senior goalkeeper. Uh, actually, that's now uh, number 28. They changed keepers at the half. That's Derricka Ohms, a sophomore uh, goalkeeper, is going to finish the second half for the Eau Claire North Huskies. So they uh, traded out Alexa Shelton, the senior goalkeeper, for the sophomore Derricka Ohms. Ani Lewis for the Raiders takes that throw up the side. Ball goes out of bounds. That's going to be a turnover to the Huskies. Olivia Kang takes the throw. They do maintain possession. Taylor Brinkman wins that ball, though. Sends the ball to the outside. Jordan Heltebrand sends it to uh, Drace on the side. Drace trying to get it upfield, but we don't connect. Turnover to the Huskies. Jess Iverson over to Heltebrand. Heltebrand wins the ball here. He tries to lift it up and over to Drace and does. Drace gets the ball on the right edge there. See if Drace can loft the ball up and in. Trying to get a yard or two of space to be able to make the kick. Turns the ball over to the Huskies. And they just send the ball out of bounds to try and alleviate some pressure here. That's gonna be a throw in for the Raiders. Senior defender number three, Amanda Carey with the ball here. Takes the throw right up into the box area to Drace. Drace tries to lift one up and across, goes off the Husky defender. That's gonna be another corner kick for the Hudson Raiders. I think that's uh, corner number four and five. The Raiders have yet to give up a corner today. They've given up a couple of dangerous free kicks um, that uh, resulted, uh, Hudson, one of Hudson's free kicks resulted in that penalty kick that was missed by Heltebrand. Here's Brinkman on the corner kick for the Raiders. Lifts it up into the six yard line area there. Tried to be touched by Helterbrand. Not aggressive enough on that ball, but it comes down into the Huskies. The ball is sent uh, up to the midfield. Donnie Lewis has it there for the Raiders. Sends it over to Jess Iverson. Iverson trying to control the ball here. Stabs it into the middle there. Trying to get it to Katie Woodley. Again, uh, not, not very good control of the ball by the Raiders. Taylor Brinkman trying to get into some open space. Sends the ball back out to the outside there to Mackenzie Drace, number 11. Drace loses that ball to Markeisha Hazelton who sends it back. And there's a good bit of work by Helter. Oh, come on. Whew. Boy, I just don't quite see what they see in today on some of these plays. That was a good bit of work by Heltebrand uh, winning that ball. Obviously, they called the ball, they, they called a foul on Heltebrand. You know, my goodness. Giving a free kick to the Huskies there for another phantom call. But Huskies take the free kick. Ball goes up into the center there. Markeisha Hazelton sends it up to their top forward trying to maintain possession, and they do. Jess Iverson attacking from the back. Iverson uh, on 17 there, and they're gonna call the foul on Iverson there. Got a little bit of her ankles there, and that was Kelsey Kitzrow that, uh, that went down. Riley Sarkoskis is gonna take this free kick here in front of Coach Knudsen. Sarkoskis sends the ball in. Ball's in the box of Hudson. Markeisha Hazelton has it, sends it back. And there's a shot by Riley Sarkoskis. Can't see what happened here, folks, sorry. Looks like that ball was probably uh, off to the side of the goal. It must have been, as Chuckle is behind the goal, getting the ball for the goal kick for the Hudson Raiders. So it was a good shot on goal, good scoring opportunity for the Eau Claire North Huskies that just went a bit awry. 
Taylor Brinkman with the free kick for the Hudson Raiders. Sends the ball up to the right side. Katie Woodley trying to get it to Helterbrand. Can't connect. Taylor Brinkman with the ball. Dribbling, dribbling. Good job using her space. Brinkman trying to slide a ball up to the center. Uh, can't connect with the Raider forwards. It's been the story of the game for the Raiders. We can, uh, we seem to be able to dribble and pass uh, into the backspace, but we can't dribble and pass when we get the ball into the attacking third of the field. Emma Richard trying to win the ball from the Huskies here as they send it out to the right flank, and that ball is just harmlessly out of bounds. That should be a Hudson Raider throw in, and it is. Uh, no, it's not. <laughs> there apparently was a foul called there on the Hudson Raiders somewhere. Olivia Kang is going to take this free kick. And she does. Long kick goes to the goal area there. Takara Chuckle misses the, the ball. It's sent out of bounds. It's going to be a, a goal kick for the Hudson Raiders. But Chuckle, uh, boy, uh, uh, was a little bit shaky on that ball. It wasn't clean on the catch there. A uh, little bit of pressure. The Huskies are attacking anytime the ball gets near the goalkeeper. North has proven that they uh, are willing to uh, battle and batter the goalkeepers for Hudson, but the Hudson players quite politely back off entirely when the ball gets near the goalkeepers for the Eau Claire North Huskies. So the Huskies send the ball back in. Taylor Brinkman tries to body the ball down, and Annika Lewis gets control, tries to send it upfield, but it goes to the Huskies. We turn it over again. Goes over to the Raiders with their turnover. Back to the Huskies, back to the Raiders, back to the Huskies. Sends the ball to the middle to the Raiders. They're calling a foul on little Maddie Haynes, number 16 there. Not sure what happened. It was out of the picture frame there, folks. Olivia Kang's going to take the free kicks for the Huskies here. And does. Drives the ball to the center. Inter intercepted by Jess Iverson, who sends it to Emma Richard. Emma Richard tries to make a cut and does. Back tap. Good tap by Richard. Getting to open space. Trying to win the ball. Sends it upfield. Gets it up to uh, Montana Hoder there. Here comes Maddie Haynes on the left flank, trying to get it by. Can't get through three defenders. Tries to cross the ball in front of the goal. Goalkeeper, shaky as the North goalkeepers have been all night. There's Derricka Ohms who bounces that ball, but finally gathers it in. No opportunistic Hudson Raiders near the goal to be able to uh, deal with a rebound there on the bobble by the goalkeeper. I don't think Eau Claire North has caught a clean ball all night, to be honest with you. Here's Emma Richard in the midfield for the Raiders, trying to get the ball upfield to the teammate and just sends it right to the Eau Claire North Huskies. Huskies get the ball in the midfield space. That's Olivia Kang, the captain, who gets it over to number 11 for the Huskies, dribbling through. Ani Lewis steps up, makes a tackle, wins the ball, goes to Emma Richard. Richard tries to send the ball to teammate Katie Woodley, but sends it to the Huskies. And the Huskies maintain possession here as they move forward with the ball, trying to get it up to forwards. Amanda Carey intercepts that ball. She's battling with uh, number 17, Kitzrow. Kitzrow and Carey are uh, having a tough battle there. Amanda Carey trying to get it up on top, but can't get it there, and the Huskies win that ball. Jess Iverson wins it back for Hudson, tries to loft the ball up to the right flank there, hits the shins of the North Huskies, and uh, they try to maintain possession here and do. Again, that's Sarkoskis with the ball. Ball is sent up, trying to get it to the forwards there. Sends it into the back third for the Hudson Raiders. And Karin Chuckle comes up to drive that ball to the midfield to Jess Iverson. Iverson gets it out to the right side there. I believe that's Mackenzie Drace over there with the ball as soon as we get her back in picture here. Ball obviously went out of bounds. It's going to be a throw in for the Hudson Raiders. Raiders maintain possession. Amanda Carey with the ball, sends it back to her teammate there. Jess Iverson with the ball, cuts it aside, leaves Markeisha Hazelton about five yards away. Iverson sends the ball up, trying to get it up uh, to the forwards there. And now back to Ani Lewis. Ani gets it up to uh, number 10, Emma Richard. 
Richard gets it over to Haynes. Haynes in the midfield there for the Raiders. Sends the ball across to Jess Iverson. Iverson taking a shot. And that shot goes wide of the mark and that's gonna be a goal kick for the Eau Claire North Huskies. Raiders shots are not finding the frame today. I've heard Knutson say it a million times, the coach, uh, 24 feet of net, two feet of kid. There's plenty of room to get that ball into the goal. Olivia, take, Olivia Kang taking the free kick, uh, goal kick for the Huskies and does. Emma Richard wins the ball, dribbles toward the midfield there, cuts it back, trying to maintain possession and doesn't. Does, gets it back though. No pressure on her here in the midfield. Ball's just being knocked around again. That's, uh, boy, I know this is what drives Coach Knutson crazy where it's like U10 soccer where the ball's just going back and forth and back and forth and there's no, no semblance of possession here by the Hudson Raiders. That's a weak ball that was just sent to nobody again. That, uh, those are the types of things that can't happen. The Raiders are gonna struggle if they can't connect with, uh, with some of their passes into open space. Here's a good ball by uh, Jordan Heltebrand set out to Mackenzie Drace. Drace uh, sends the ball, should have went off the Husky. It should be another corner for the Hudson Raiders, and it is, the AR got that one right. And Hudson Raiders look like they're setting up in the uh, arc formation. We'll see, maybe I saw Heldebrand go, go into the goal line position. We'll see when they pan back here. Here comes Brinkman on the free kick. The free kick goes to the goal line there. Heldebrand trying to get it back to Brinkman but not a good enough ball and it's uh, contested. That ball's gotta be a crisp pass sent back to the goal kicker there on a set play. If the Raiders are gonna run set plays, they gotta do them uh, with a little better technique. Ball goes out of bounds. Gonna be a throw in for the Huskies after substitutions. Sarkaskis, who's taken 95% of the throw-ins for the Eau Claire North Huskies today, will be the one taking the throw-in here. Amanda Carey tries to win that ball. Ball sent out of bounds by the Huskies there. Carey quickly takes that throw-in, goes up to Heldebrand. Heldebrand can't maintain possession. The Huskies win that ball. Carey wins that ball, trying to get it to Iverson, can't connect. Ball goes over to the Huskies and is sent up the field there. Karen Chuckle gets to that ball and sends it out to Jess Iverson who flicks it on to Mackenzie Drace. Drace on the right flank there, making another run for the Raiders. Nice step overs there by Drace, well done. And uh, maintaining possession, gets the ball to Iverson in the middle there. Iverson lets the ball comes through, gets a good touch up. That ball's gonna go to Ani Lewis there and actually taken over by Montana Hoder. Uh, not good communication between Hoder and Lewis on that one. They, they've got to do a better job uh, communicating because turnovers are losses of possession and uh, drives Coach Knudsen crazy. Olivia Kang with the throw in for the Huskies. Hazelton pushes uh, Emma Richard out of the way there. Doesn't uh, get a call against her on that one though. Taylor Brinkman sends a weak ball right to the Huskies there. Huskies win the ball in the midfield. Tripped by Richard, she's gonna get a foul. Stoppage of play there, and Richard is gonna get a yellow card there. Uh, after the push and the foul, it, uh, it appeared that Richard gave a little bit extra, and the referee is going to mark the yellow card into the uh, book and go over and tell Coach Knutson what this was for. And uh, uh, it was would have to be unsportsmanlike conduct or dissent. She may have said something, but I believe he made the call from the little shoulder flick after the foul there. Eau Claire North takes the free kick there. That's Sarkaskis with the free kick, goes up toward the goal and uh, harmlessly heads out of bounds there. But with everybody walking this way, it certainly looks like it must have been touched by a Raider and they're calling that a corner. That's not good. Raiders are setting up for a corner kick by the Eau Claire North Huskies. With the score still one to one, game still uh, 
Certainly available to be won by either team here. Sarkaskis takes a free kick in front of the goal box there. It just harmlessly goes to the backside. Uh, not a very good effort by the corner uh, by Eau Claire North. Ball sent up field. Katie Woodley has that ball, trying to get it up onto the top area there and uh, see if Drace can run onto that. That's actually Jordan Heltebrand, the forward there, left footed shot, gets it across. Oh, gets it to Maddie Haynes. Gets a touch on that ball, but uh, sophomore goalkeeper Derrica Olds makes a terrific stop for the Huskies there. And uh, I, I, I'm not sure what they're calling there, folks. Olivia Kang taking this free kick here. Might have been a handball there again. There are calls not being made that I'm not sure why, and there are calls being made that I'm not sure why. Uh, interesting game today, folks. Score is one to one. Markeisha Hazelton tries to get the ball to the outside to Kelsey Kitzer out there. Ball goes out of bounds. That's going to be a Raider throw in there along the sideline. Carey takes the throw up the sideline there. Heltebrand trying to win the ball. Battling with Sarkaskis. Gets Byer. Gets Byer. Play goes on. Heltebrand has the ball on that right flank. Dribbling up. See if she can cross it here. Trying to get to open space. Just uh, dribbles into two defenders. Got to get rid of the ball while you have time to get rid of the ball. Taylor Brinkman comes up on that. Tries to get it to Drace. Drace is dancing there around the ball. Tries to get past that defender number three for the Huskies and sends the ball in. And there's Katie Woodley. Can't keep the ball close enough there and it harmlessly goes right into two defenders and it's another turnover for the Hudson Raiders. Taylor Brinkman chasing down this ball. Karen Chuckle steps up, takes another uh, kick. Sends it to Markeisha Hazelton. Drace battling with Hazelton there. Ball goes to the outside to Sarkaskis who tries to get it upfield and the man to carry intercepts. Jess Iverson in the midfield there along with Emma Richard. A little too close together for my taste there. Uh, Jess Iverson gets the ball there. Johnny Lewis touched back. Emma Richards gets it out to Hoder. Hoder trying to get a shot, can't get the shot up. But that again should be, that should be a corner. It is clearly off Elizabeth a Kang there. And yet they give the goal kick to the Eau Claire North Huskies. My goodness. Boy, if Coach Knudsen looks at this tape, what little hair he has is left on his head, he's gonna be pulling out from the missed calls here. And the call, so boy, it's awfully hard to, blow, to uh, blame referees. It's not the reason the Raiders are losing, but boy, they sure could have had another uh, five or six or seven possessions if the right call was made as the tape shows. And there's Hazelton trying to get the ball upfield there. Battling with Emma Olson, Emma and Hazelton. Uh, Emma is off Emma's shins there. There's Hazelton with another push, but she doesn't get called for that. Raiders are gonna get the throw in here on the side. Emma Olson takes that throw. Huskies win that ball. Send it to the midfield there. Intercepted by Mackenzie Drace of the Raiders. Drace with good speed going up the sideline, trying to get around that last defender. See if she can get this ball crossed. And she does get a low ball crossed right into two Huskies. Amanda Carey comes on this ball. Let's see what Amanda Carey can do with the speed. She sends the ball up the field. North intercepts. Jess Iverson gains control, sends it back to Amanda Carey. Amanda Carey sends it to Jordan Heltebrand. Can't maintain control of the ball. It goes over to the Huskies. Huskies try to clear the ball toward the right side of the field there. Emma Olson trying to run that ball down, the left back for the Raiders, sends a left-footed ball out, but right to the Huskies who come up field back on the counterattack. Uh, Emma intercepts that ball, good dispossession there by Emma Olson, sends the ball up. One by Haynes on that. Haynes still maintains possession in the center of the field. She tries to chip it up to Jordan Heltebrand. Can't maintain control or possession of the ball. Goes back to Haynes. Haynes gets it back to Heltebrand. 
When that ball bounces five yards away, it's not your ball anymore, folks. Hudson has to do a far better job of receiving balls to the feet and keeping control and possession of the ball, and we're just not doing it. Derricka Ohm, sophomore goalkeeper for the Eau Claire North Huskies, punts that ball out. Brinkman's got the ball battling with my, um, uh, Markeisha Hazelton again. Hazelton, big, strong kid. Man, she's just pushing our girls around. Huskies get the ball up on top with two, uh, two or three attackers coming down. There's a man to carry on the right side, wins the ball. Still has possession, tries to get the ball up the field to the Hudson midfield. Ball goes toward uh, Emma Richard. Not, uh, not sure what happened there, folks. Coach Knutson's going crazy. That looked like a 50-50 ball there. And he called the foul on the Hudson Raiders. You can, you, you can see uh, Coach Knutson's not happy about that one. And Eau Claire North takes a free kick. It's a lofted ball toward the center there, right in the six yard line. Dangerous play. Oh, and the rebound goes right into the net. Chuckle misplays the first ball. It comes back out to the six yard line and the rebound gets knocked into the net as a goal for the Eau Claire North Huskies. Making the score at the 69-47 mark. Two goals by North, one goal by Hudson. It's a 2-1 game for the Huskies right now. Almost 70 minutes into the 90 minute contest here, folks, with uh, a little over 20 minutes to go in the game. The Raiders find themselves down and, and quite frankly, they just aren't playing well here today. They are not connecting on passes. They aren't maintaining possession of the ball in a close enough proximity to do anything positive with the ball there. Every ball that comes to a Hudson Raider today seems like it gets knocked uh, five to seven yards away and they just can't like that ball there it was not maintained possession that was a good ball by helter brand to uh, haynes and haynes just couldn't maintain possession of the ball here's uh, brinkman with the ball sends it over to carry there's a there's another touch that's indicative of what's happened to hudson all night the, the touches are just brutal huskies win that ball ball goes back Bouncing back and forth, uh, Marley Johnson in the center midfield position for the Raiders now trying to win a ball. Markeisha Hazelton wins it back, sends up from the midfield to their forwards. Here's Amanda Carey with the ball. Amanda Carey gets it out to Mackenzie Drace. Even there's a five yard, five, seven yard touch away. Not nearly close enough to maintain possession of the ball. Brinkman sends the ball up. It's intercepted by the Huskies. Marley Johnson tries to win the ball and does. Sends it back to Brinkman. Brinkman sends the ball to Jess Iverson. Iverson to Marley Johnston there. Three or four good passes in a row, but uh, lose possession, gain it back. Johnston over to Brinkman with Emma Olson. Uh, Emma's got the ball right now for the Raiders. She sends the ball up right to the Huskies. Trying to run this one down. I'm not sure this one's going to get out of bounds, folks. It does. Markeisha Hazelton pressuring on that play. It was slowly rolling out of bounds. I didn't know if it would get there. Emma Olson going to take the goal kick for the Raiders. Here the Huskies are. Hudson's in unfamiliar territory. They haven't lost Eau Claire North in years. Uh, Emma Olson with a free kick. Goes to Montana Hoder who turns it over. Huskies maintain possession. Jeff Syverson regains. Dribbles upfield. Dribbles past a couple defenders. Past another one uh, much faster. Good ball by Jess Iverson up to the top there. Touched by Katie Woodley. Heltebrand with a shot. That was a good opportunity. Good shot by Jordan Heltebrand. She got turned, just barely missed the far post on that one. That was a, uh, that was a good run for the Hudson Raiders there, and it was a great touch by Jordan Heltebrand. Uh, unlucky that it didn't go in, but boy, I'll, I'll take that type of a play every time where they exhibited control on three or four passes in a row to get that ball up the field and get a shot. So that was well done by the Raiders. Let's see if we can see more of that to finish this game out as they're down one to nothing. They need at least two goals to win, one goal to tie. 
Emma Olson with the ball, sends it to the middle there to Jess Iverson, lets that ball come through to Mackenzie Drace. Drace dances with the ball, trying to penetrate and does, but dribbles right into an Eau Claire North Husky defender. Ball comes out to Jess Iverson. Iverson across the middle, cuts it back there, tries to cut it back again, but the ball uh, again goes five yards away, and that's an Eau Claire Huskies ball that gets sent upfield. Brinkman gets the ball out to Carey. Carey dribbling with the ball. Ball goes out to the right flank there, and there's number 13, Helterbrand. Ball goes out of bounds. Just a uh, uh, pass that went out of bounds. We're not connecting white to white on these plays, and uh, it's hurting the Raiders right now. Huskies with control of the ball there. Brinkman wins the ball. Goes back to Emma Olson. Emma tries to back tap there with her left foot, sends the ball out, but right to the Huskies again. We just, uh, our field vision is poor tonight, uh, folks, and Coach Knutson better have some plan of attack for his team to improve their field vision, their footwork, and their first touches, or it's gonna be a long year. Marley Johnson trying to win the ball in the midfield. It's won by the Huskies. Uh, Luckily, they send the ball to no one quite often, too. Drace fighting hard to win a ball there, gets turned around. Uh, again, touches it out of bounds. That's gonna be a throw in for the Huskies there. Mandy Carey wins this ball, comes around to Emma Olson, switches fields here. Emma dribbles up, uses her space, which is great. Sends the ball over to Katie Wood, or to uh, Marley Johnson, sorry. Gets it back to Jess Iverson. Couple good passes in a row there, feet to feet. Iverson has the ball on the right side there. 21 in pursuit for the Huskies. Iverson tries to chip a ball up and over to Helter Brand. That's a good thought by Iverson. Jess still maintaining possession here. Tries to get around the corner, but can't. Uh, I guess she does get a touch before the end line there. Saves it, but it goes over to the Huskies. Huskies get the ball uh, cleared. Drace wins that ball, brings it back on goal. Let's see if the Hudson Raiders can do something. Puts a shot in toward the box. Gets knocked out of bounds there. And yet they call another penalty. Didn't see what happened there, folks, out of the frame, but uh, North is gonna take the free kick here. That'll be number 13 taking the free kick for the Huskies, and that's gonna be Ariana Thiessen again, the defender for the Huskies. Thiessen takes the free kick for the Huskies, headed by uh, Jess Iverson. Ball's won by Marley. Good control with the feet there. Marley still has the ball, back taps to the defender, Amanda Carey. Good work by Johnston there. And that's a turnover there. Johnston winning the ball again. Let's see what she does here. Trying to get it, back taps again. Carey tries to send the ball up to the right flank there and it goes out of bounds. We're getting one or two passes now, but then we're turning the ball over. Huskies have the throw in, short throw in to number 14 there to the Huskies, back to the thrower, chipped up. Intercepted by Iverson, goes over to Marley Johnston. Johnston tries to pull it back, but there's uh, two Huskies in the proximity there and win the ball. Huskies now have the ball, but it's intercepted by Carey, trying to get it to Iverson. Iverson in the middle, loses the ball to the Huskies there. Number 14, that's uh, Michaela Kohler. She gets the ball upfield. Amanda Carey has the ball in the back third of the Raiders. Kicks it right to Coach Knutson. Yeah, Coach Knutson can't be happy with the play of the Raiders right now with their lack of possession ability here. The, uh, the, the, the most glaring uh, situation with the Raiders is poor first touches and lack of possession, and uh, that's something that definitely is gonna need to be worked on if the Raiders are hoping to compete in the Big Rivers Conference this year, especially with the likes of Eau Claire Memorial. You know, here we're playing Eau Claire North, and uh, again, the Huskies haven't beaten the Raiders in so many years, I can't even remember how long it's been, but um, they've got a game on their hands now as they're down two to one here in the waning minutes of the game. I know Knutson is uh, gonna tell his team to start pushing up and uh, you gotta take chances. It doesn't matter if you lose by one or by 10, you have to do something to increase your offensive output and opportunities. 
I'm guessing you're going to see significantly more pressure in these next 10 minutes by the Hudson Raiders to see if they can get one goal to get back in it and two goals to win the game. Amanda Carey is going to take the throw in here for the Raiders and does. Up the sideline to Jordan Heltebrand. Good control from that throw in by Heltebrand. Rolls the ball, tries to step in, evades the defender. That's good. Marley Johnson wins that ball, goes back to Heltebrand. Heltebrand pops that hit ball into the air. Try to be won by Grace Potter, but again, the bad first touch that gives up the ball to the Huskies. Got to be able to find a way to maintain possession on those balls. Huskies kick the ball out of bounds. Grace uh, Potter was on the outside, but Ani Lewis picks up that ball. Tries to get it over to Haynes. Haynes gets on that left edge, trying to cross that ball in. Ball's on the ground there. Uh, Emma Richard tries to shoulder a kid off the ball and win it. Ani Lewis sends the ball back to Brinkman at the center D. Brinkman sends the ball into the mids and forwards there. Here's Emma Richard with an opportunity, but she just hoes the ball harmlessly to the goalkeeper there. We need to do more of a plan there rather than just a touch and hope. We need to have an idea. Are we trying to make a pass or are we trying to create a shot? We gotta, we've got to decide uh, how we're going to do that, folks. Ani Lewis uh, wins that ball, gets it down to her feet, but turns it over to the Huskies there who get it up to the right flank there. Huskies with the ball on the right flank, dribbling. Uh, right to Ani Lewis. Uh, Taylor Brinkman touches that ball as Ani steps back with Taylor on the ball. Brinkman trying to win that ball, gets it up to Grace Potter who kicks it out of bounds with her left foot. Waiting for substitutions here. It's going to be number 16 for the Huskies. That's going to be uh, Olivia Kang, the senior captain again. And she throws the throw in, and Annika Lewis uh, helps them by bodying the ball out of bounds. Olivia Kang takes a throw in now outside the Raider box. And right at the edge of the box there, it's touched by uh, North. It sends it back to the middle for an open shot there. And the open shot goes off to the right there. Boy, the Hudson Raiders uh, need to mark in the defensive box there and make sure that they've got a body on a body to make sure they're covered. We left the midfield exposed there. And North had a great opportunity to score and go up 3-1. to one. As it is, it's 2-1 to one right now. Iverson wins that ball but just pops it up into the air there. Ani tries to send it to the middle to Marley Johnson who gets it over to Emma Richard. Emma Richard turns the ball over and back and forth it goes again. Hudson to North, the Hudson to North and back and forth. Very little possession by either team tonight, folks. Ani Lewis with the ball here, sends it up with her left foot, but right to the Eau Claire North Husky who can't maintain possession themselves. Ball's gonna go out of bounds here. That'll be a Hudson Raider throw in. Amanda Carey trying to win the ball on the outside there. Mackenzie Drace drops back to help her out. Carey sends the ball up to Heltebrand. Heltebrand sends the ball up the field, trying to get it to Maddie Haynes there, intercepted by Olivia Kang, but one back by Haynes. Good speed by Haynes, good burst coming up that left side. Let's see what Haynes can do here. Approaching the top of the left side of the box, Haynes tries to lift that ball up. That looked like it could have been a handball by North too. Ball is touched by uh, Emma Richard, but again, can't be controlled. Got to do a much better job of uh, maintaining possession with some of those balls by trapping them better. We're kind of sticking and stabbing and, and really not maintaining possession at all uh, on some of those serves like that. Here's Brinkman again for yet another corner kick. Hudson has not threatened on a corner kick uh, the whole night with uh, taking five or six corners already. Uh, that uh, is going to be a set play. It's sent to Haynes there. Haynes tries to get it back to Brinkman here and does. Let's see what Brinkman can do. She's going to try to get a shot off. She crosses the ball there over toward Helterbrand and it goes right through again. Hudson needs to do a much, much, much better job of attacking the ball in the box rather than shying away from the ball. 
Ball goes out of bounds. It's going to be the Eau Claire North Huskies throw in here. What you're going to see from the Huskies, you see them right now with the orange pennies there, they're going to be substituting on every single opportunity that they can to waste additional time. And they're trying to burn the clock and win this game. Ball's going to go out of bounds. I'll be surprised if they don't substitute again here. You're going to see every, every dead ball like this, there's going to be a Eau Claire North Husky with a penny in their hand trying to substitute. Hudson Raiders get this throw in. Raiders are uh, burning daylight here, folks. Down uh, two goals to one to the Eau Claire North Huskies. It's going to be another Raider throw in. Amanda Carey quickly hustles to the ball, takes all the yardage she can, makes a nice long throw, trying to get that ball to Heltebrand. Brinkman maintains possession there, trying to dribble through a couple defenders. Ball gets turned over to the Huskies there. Uh, Richard attacking from behind, trying to win that ball. Ball's won by Carey, sent to the outside there. Nobody there but a Husky defender. Huskies send it up the field, and Amanda Carey has to hustle back to win that ball. Trying to maneuver it to get some space. She sends it over to Taylor Brinkman. Brinkman mistouches that ball a bit, but still strong enough to recover it. Ani Lewis on the ball, touches it to get it to her left side. Left foot sends it up to Grace Potter. Potter on the ball. Sends the ball, gets up to Haynes. Haynes with another opportunity. I'll take Haynes every time with those opportunities. She touches right into two defenders there though. Uh, would have been better for her to take another stride or two forward, get a yard or two of space and cross that ball in rather than taking it right into two defenders at one time. Iverson trying to get the shot up, but she's got to lift it into the air a bit more if she wants to get some free air there for the kick. Marley Johnson trying to send it over to Grace Potter and does. Potter with the ball right now. Potter with the ball, gets it back to Marley. Marley sends a weak ball right to the north defender there who gives it back to Marley. Sends it back, there's Amanda Carey gonna recover on the ball. Hudson's got to pressure up. They need as many uh, opportunities as they can to tie this game up. Carey with a shot into the box area there. Emma Richard runs toward the ball and uh, along with Helterbrand, neither of them could control. Iverson trying to win the ball here goes down. There's a shot that just goes wide of the mark there. That was a great goal scoring opportunity for the Hudson Raiders. Missed because it just went wide of the post by about a foot or two. That's going to be a goal kick for the Eau Claire North Huskies. Of course, they'll substitute to waste more time. <laughs> Olivia Kang taking the goal kick here for the Huskies. She lifts it up to the center. And off to the right side, I guess that is. And Ball boy Tim Chuckle there on the side with the ball, drops it down and again, the Huskies will waste more time by making it seem like there's a tough decision on who should take that throw. Uh, smart play with the use of the clock by the Huskies to burn up as much time as they can without getting a delay a game warning. Grace Potter kicks it into the back of Marley Johnston there. We've got to be aware where the ball is there. We're trying to chase frantically and win a ball, but we're just flying by the Eau Claire North uh, ball carriers. Instead of winning balls, we're doing flybys, folks. Off of Taylor Brinkman, it's going to be a throw in for the Eau Claire North Huskies. They will again be as slow as they can possibly be on these throw ins. Kang with the throw into the corner. Ball's knocked out the end line. That's going to be a goal kick for the Hudson Raiders. We're nearing the end of the game here, folks. Hudson's down two to one. Not much time left in the game. Can Hudson mount a comeback here to tie? And could they even win this thing? Well, let's see. Let's see if the Raiders got enough fight in them to uh, even this thing up here. Helterbrand with the ball, one in the middle, tries to send it to the outside to Haynes. Haynes, the fastest kid on the field probably. Cuts it back into the defense, so we're going to have to work with Haynes a little to, to, to uh, get that open space to cross it rather than going into the heart of the defense. Chuckle gets a touch there, sends it kind of to the middle though, but Ani Lewis is there. Sends it outside to Amanda Carey. Amanda Carey is going to carry the ball up to the right side there. Uh, Drace drops back. Carey sends it up to Heltebrand. 
Going in the other direction there, North wins the ball, sends it out of bounds right into their shelter. Hudson picks up the ball, does a quick start there, trying to get it to Helterbrand. Hudson's ball yet. Grace chasing after the ball. Tries to throw it into the box area for a Raider. Oh, gets knocked down there. They gotta get that. There, they're actually giving the call to the Hudson Raiders. That's a hard one to believe, folks. Emma Richard got knocked down there. See what the Hudson Raiders can do with this uh, set piece here. They've got uh, attacking free kicks and attacking corners that they can take. Uh, what Coach Knudsen would like to see probably on this one is a driven ball by Brinkman to the goal. She chips it to give the opportunity to the uh, forwards there. Ball's kicked by Lewis. Marley Johnston gets a rebound, knocks the ball into the net at the 88-23 mark. Marley Johnston, freshman number eight, the midfielder for the Hudson Raiders, off the set play by Taylor Brinkman at the 88-23 mark, ties the game at two to two for the Hudson Raiders. That's unbelievable, folks, that a young freshman can have that much composure to step in, take a shot from the top of the box, and score on that play. That was very well done on a rebound. Uh, Taylor Brinkman with the free kick, chips it up and in. On the rebound, Marley collects that ball and ends up sending it into the goal. Two to two, folks, new game. Now let's see if the Raiders got enough in them to try and win this thing. Here's Amanda Carey with the ball, sending it back to Marley Johnston. Johnston back to Carey. Carey lifts that ball up the right flank there. Sarkoskis for the Husky steps in. Outside midfielder knocks the ball out of bounds. Amanda Carey will take the throw for the Raiders and does. Ball goes up the side to Heltebrand. Heltebrand gets it to Drace. Good touch by Heltebrand. Ball is kicked out of bounds by the Huskies. Amanda Carey stops it before it goes out, but she kicks it out of bounds, gives it back to the Huskies. Sarkaskis takes the throw in, long throw in. Harry uh, Carey heads the ball out. There's athletic trainer Mike Renfro catches that one. Another ball gets put into play. Brinkman touches the ball upfield there. Fought for by Heltebrand. Good job coming back by Heltebrand on that. Here comes uh, Markeisha Hazelton with the ball. Intercepted by Ani Lewis. Grace Potter touches that ball, but it goes right to uh, Olivia Kang. Kang gets it to the teammate in the midfield there. Midfield tries to get it to the forward. There's, there's uh, oh, Chuckle with a tremendous stop on that play there. That was number 17, Kelsey Kisro, trying to win that ball. And Chuckle goes down to the ground and eats some leather on that one. But that's one of the best stops I've seen Chuckle make in a long time. Uh, very well done by Chuckle. Here comes Jordan Heltebrand with a breakaway, trying to get a shot off. Touches the ball out. Heltebrand gives a little shove in the back there. I think that's probably going to be called. And it is. That's going to be a free kick for Eau Claire North. And uh, Helterbrand uh, couldn't get away from the defender and kind of carried the ball right out of bounds there. And folks, that is the end of the game there at 90 minutes and one second, one second over the allotted time. And the game is gonna end two to two with the Hudson Raiders and the Eau Claire North Huskies. Hudson's first Big Rivers Conference game. Hudson now has a record of one win, no losses and one tie. So one 0 and one on the year. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for coming. Next game for the Hudson Raiders is Tuesday, April 19th with the Menominee Ma uh, Mustangs. So we'll see you then. Have a great day. This is Knute Johnson signing off for the Hudson Raiders.